Welcome back to my channel. Happy 12 days of Christmas. I'm so excited to be finally doing this series on my channel. I've been saying I want to do 12 days of Christmas or like Vlogmas or something like that for a long time. So thank you guys so much for tuning in today for another video for 12 days of Christmas. And sis, if you have not seen the other ones, definitely go check those out. And if you are new here, be sure to subscribe, give the video a thumbs up to let YouTube know you like this kind of content and you want to see more 12 days of Christmas from me. So thank you guys so much for tuning in so let's just go ahead and get started today so what we're going to be doing is this puff tutorial so this is my natural hair i have these two little cute pieces in the front and these adorable little butterfly clips that i got from one of the wigs that i reviewed i'm not sure which one but this came as like a little extra um gift in the package with the wig and these are just so cute i actually have um like four of them but i just used two today i love these um, i'm sure you can find something similar to this like at the beauty supply store on amazon or something like that um, if you guys are interested in adding just a little bit of razzle dazzle to your pop so let's just go ahead and jump right into the tutorial so i am gonna go ahead and just section off the hair that I want to leave out because we're going to need to work like in sections. I want to have the two um, like pieces in the front because I think that always looks so cute. So I'm just trying to see. I feel like maybe I would rather leave out a little more because I can always like bring that back and tuck it into the puff versus having to like go back and take it out so I'm thinking this amount looks good and of course we'll just um lay it down but yeah I'm thinking like this much so I'm gonna go ahead and just take this and twist it just bend this out of the way Okay, so I'm going to start off by using my spray bottle to just spray some water over here. I'm going to be using the Eco Styler Gel. This is the same one that I used when I actually um, styled the hair. So I'm going to just get a good amount of this and layer this right here. brush okay. and y'all see it looks like nice and smooth that's what we want and then do the same thing to the other side Now what I'm going to do, you guys can see that basically I only have the top half up. And so I'm going to go ahead and just put a ponytail holder around this. And now I'm going to work with the back section. So for the back section, I'm going to want to go ahead and kind of spray the water in between the layers so that it can pull up easier if that makes sense versus just like going like this and having no gel like in the middle so i'm just gonna spray some water
kind of added in the gel and all in between the layers and kind of gotten it molded you guys can see how it's good and like forming that puff so I'm gonna undo this and I'm gonna put it around the whole thing probably just once So I managed to get it around twice and you guys can see how it's looking now I haven't fluffed or done anything yet this is just how it looks by itself so cute so cute you can take your comb um, I have a pick somewhere but I'm just gonna use this wide tooth comb to just kind of um, comb through it just a little bit because we want it to be big okay <laughs> like that's the point I like well for me I like a big a big puff and it's also my hair is fresh like this is literally part two I told y'all guys I told y'all guys I told y'all this was gonna be part two um, so my hair isn't really old you know so it hasn't really gotten a chance to just kind of um, you know be fluffed on its own so we got to use the comb be using the edge booster and then I'm also going to be using this got to be on top of it the edge booster is really good by itself but because I'm going out at night and like I don't know how long I'm gonna be out I want to make sure my edges stay slick so this first and then this on top stuff are done so what I'm gonna do is use I like to use something cotton y'all can use something silk if you want but if you use something silk it might start slipping so I just really recommend to use something cotton here and I do make sure your edges are good in place you like them because once you tie this down like you're gonna have to um you know you have to go back like once you remove this you're not gonna know that your edges have uh, moved out of place so just use this Tie it down and then I'm going to this is nice and long too so I can actually wrap it up like like this okay and so now it's nice and secure my edges are laying down so now all I want to do is just kind of continue to um, play with my puff and just make sure that I like um, how it's looking and just kind of like I said, comb through it a little bit and so we can really get that good volume.
keep in mind i'm not combing through completely because we do want to maintain you know like the curls on the ends and stuff but i'm combing through like the the root part to give it volume and then i'm going to use some bobby pins to just kind of like pin it in place how i want it Yes, so now we have our pieces here in the front that I twisted up. And this may honestly be too much, but we're about to see now. Okay. We can just kind of, um, I'm gonna spray a little water. And put a little bit of gel right here. Also, literally, I was done. My camera just cut off, but I just went ahead and tied my scarf on. So you guys see I have my cotton one up here. I tied my silk scarf around it. You want to make sure you tie it down and give it, you know, some time to kind of mold and kind of dry in place because you just spray water. You just put gel. So if you put your scarf on and kind of mold it, it'll be, you know, nice and like kind of harden up. And then I took my two pieces in the front and I just two strand twisted them. They're right here. Um, and I just clipped them um, to my scarf so they could be out of my face. But yeah, I'm just going to let those dry. Um, and then, of course, when I take this off, I'm going to undo the twist. And then they should be like nice and curly in the front. And I have these cute little um, butterfly clips. I'm going to put um, one of these on each side. So yeah, um, basically, I'm just going to let this dry. And that's going to be it. So once I get dressed and everything, I'll come back and show y'all the final results. Okay guys, so hopefully that tutorial was helpful. Doing the puff is pretty easy, but I just really wanted to share the products with you guys um, to let you know like what gel and stuff I use for my hair and everything to help to get it, you know, like nice and slick in this puff. It's actually um, a few days later. So I filmed this tutorial like Friday and today is Monday and I'm just now doing the intro and outro because I was going out um, on that Friday and it like had gotten dark and everything so if you guys notice that my hair may be a little more frizzy or like the curls are a little less defined today it's because it's actually like several days later <laughs> so um, if you guys want to see that footage of me going out it is in my most recent vlog so I will link that down below for you guys in case you didn't know I do vlogs or maybe you just haven't seen that one yet it'll be in the description box down below so y'all can check that out but yes hopefully this was super helpful for you guys if you have any questions about any of the products i used or just natural hair things in general definitely comment down below don't forget to check the description box for the link to my playlist for all of my natural hair videos and yes if you didn't see yesterday's video for how i actually did the wash and go and the maximum hydration method and everything definitely be sure to check that out because sis like it really makes a difference like my curls look so much better than they have previously so I'm super super happy um, with how this came out so I think it's just so cute I love it so thank you guys so much for tuning in for another video today definitely be sure to come back tomorrow because like I said 12 days of Christmas sis so thank you guys so much and I will see y'all in the next video bye